All right, y'all, we have a Buff Bunny collection. Try on haul of all the pieces that I own. They sent me some new stuff, so we'll be doing a few first impressions. And then I have some stuff I've been wearing for either like three to four weeks, going to Pilates, weightlifting, walking, just wearing because, you know, I live in athleisure. So um, I'm super excited to share everything with you, all the fabrics, the fits, the qualities. My body, well, first of all, I'm Brittany. Hey, if you don't know me, I don't think strangers are gonna be watching this. But if you are, hi, hello, I'm Brittany. Um, otherwise known as Balance Brittany on TikTok and Instagram. I am a wellness, beauty, fashion content creator. Um, I've been doing this full time for about a year, but I have been documenting my wellness journey for over four years now. Um, I've lost a hundred over a hundred pounds. I am five foot four. Um, I'm 163 pounds right now. I have an hourglass body type. Um, I'm located in Nashville, Tennessee, but yeah, I am super excited. I am really, really passionate about Buff Bunny because it is just so inclusive. Like I don't know, especially being from somebody that's lost a ton of weight and been in a lot of different journeys of my weight loss, my mental health, like all that stuff wrapped in one. And if you know, you know, like it's just so encompassing of all the things it, it means. Um, but it really feels good to, first of all, feel like I am just like welcomed like these fabrics these collections these pieces are meant to fit all shapes and sizes but the fact that they want you to feel confident I'm um, tearing up and I was like don't tear up when you talk about this okay but I just like I know we've all been there I think at least like majority of you watching maybe or maybe you haven't but I have felt like this is not made for me this fabric this piece this workout gear, like who am I to wear that? I've had that mentality before. And I've also felt like, I don't know, just not welcomed a ton by a lot of different companies and activewear in the past. And I feel like when I would shop certain collections and certain brands in the past throughout like my weight loss journey and everything, I just didn't feel like they were for me. Like I just didn't feel welcomed. I didn't feel the most confident. I felt like this sports bra, this legging, like, was not made for my body, was not made for a person like me. And um, that really sucks. It's not a good feeling. So these pieces genuinely make me feel so dang confident. Before I just changed into this and started this video, I was sitting in my bed working a little bit, and I put this on. I was wearing, like, a t-shirt and sleep shorts. I put this on, and immediately I went to grab my tripod, and I was like, yay, like, so hyped to do this. And I was like, what just changed in the past minute from like chilling, working in a t-shirt to like putting this on? It's because I feel dang good in this. Like I feel like I look great in this and I feel confident and feel well supported. My body is not oozing and goozing out. I don't think I am trying to squeeze into a fabric or a style or a bra or a legging that was just not made for a body type like me. Um, so I'm really excited to make this YouTube video. This is more than just a clothing collection. It's more just an active wear brand. Like, I'm really passionate about everything they stand for, the inclusivity and just making you feel your best. Like working out or wearing athleisure is not just about like physically being the most fit or who can do the most push-ups or what do you know about weightlifting, right? It's like all encompassing. What's going to make you feel good? What is going to get you to your healthiest and happiest self? And that's truly what I build my platform and my socials for is like, it's not just like ride or die, eat the healthiest thing, do the healthiest thing. And this is like turning into a whole new YouTube. But I just want y'all to let, let you know that you are welcomed. I've been there, I felt that. I still feel things like the ups and downs today, but we are all about having a happy and balanced lifestyle. And truly this company is just like, it's great, okay? <laughs> Don't cry. But I just feel um, very honored and excited and I just feel freaking phenomenal and coming from a time when I didn't feel that way feels really good. So I, did, I just said I, I stopped doing YouTube because I'm not good at editing and it takes me forever because I'm a perfectionist. So I'm not editing this out. So y'all are just going to roll with me. Okay. But, um, I wanted to share. So anyways, yes, I've lost a hundred pounds. I do have like kind of loose skin, but I'm also lean. I work out four to five times a week. I live like an 80-20 lifestyle, try to eat high protein and healthy, but I also go out and have margaritas on the weekend, stuff like that. This is my body. I have stretch marks. This is the body type I am representing. I have the stretch marks. I have the loose skin. I have an hourglass body type, um, but I still am lean. I have lean muscle. I'm curvy. I've got big boobs. I had um, a breast lift and augmentation after my weight loss. I had it in October, so it's been six months. So these um, are bigger than what 
my normal natural body would represent. Got a little pooch because I ate some stuff and drank some matcha. But you know, I'm confident. I feel great where I'm at in my life. And we're gonna show you some cute clothes and we're gonna feel good and we're gonna vibe, okay? Um, if you see me looking behind you, it's a mirror because I wanted to make sure I was like in range or whatever. But anyways, I want to tell you a funny story and then we are going to go into it and I'll put timestamps so you don't have to like listen to me talk if you don't want to. So this is my first ever Buff Bunny sports bra I ever had in my entire life. And this was over like, it's almost three years ago that I bought this. Um, it's just hilarious because first of all, this is a white sports bra, okay? White. And like, it's still in a really dang good shape. Like this thing not going anywhere and it's one of my favorite bras I wear this once a week and if that tells you something especially for someone like that, me that just goes through clothes and I'm like I like this one week and I like this the next week like someone that's wearing the same sports bra three years later like every week I wear this at least once a week if not twice I just get self tanner on it because it's white so I have to wash it often but <laughs> I literally love this sports bra so if that does not tell you before I ever was commissioned by Buff Bunny before I was ever affiliate before I ever thought my career on socials would go anywhere. Like I genuinely loved Buff Bunny. I didn't uh, buy it a ton because I couldn't afford a lot of it. But this is one of the pieces that I have that have stuck with me and I just freaking love it. They don't have this on their site anymore, I don't think. I tried to look, um, but it's the best sports bra ever, okay? <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to share that because I thought it was very authentic and I was like, you know what? I just gotta tell you all this story. Okay, starting off strong with our first fit, okay? this is my favorite sports bra that I have tried by Buff Bunny so far. I want to own it in every color. They're having an Earth, Earth Day sale today, so I'm gonna go buy some actually. Um, but I literally love this. So this is the Revolution Sports Bra. It is a square neckline, which I think on my body type, it is very flattering, especially for a bigger chest. Um, I think it's super flattering in the underarm area. A lot of stuff cuts up high and I feel like I don't know, I get like this big bulge in a lot of stuff. And this was made to like cut very flattering. Look at that cut and not rub at all. Sometimes I also get rashes right here from where stuff rubs, but it doesn't do that. Has a very big bust, under bust support. So I feel like that really helps hold the girls up. Um, it's very, very nice and it's high, high support. I think they only say it's medium support. Yeah, so this is, I just want to write everything down because I can't remember everything, but this is the new gray fabric and it's medium support, but I think this is pretty dang high support. Like I need support and that's it. I feel very confident. I could do any activity, any errand, any sport in this, hit anything. I love it. Um, but it's also comfy enough to wear like around the house or whatever. I don't feel like I'm only wearing this to work out and then I can't wait to get out of my bra. So this is in the color peach rings. I love, love, love this. This is a natural light in front of my window. Um, it is a beautiful, just like coral orange. Really, really pretty. It's not even a true orange. It's almost like a pink coral. Um, and then for the back, I literally love it. It is so pretty. It's got this webbing, this caged, and it moves so well. I can lift weights, I can bend down, I can stretch. And I am very self-conscious, like body image wise, personally, it's something I struggle with, is my back area. Like I just, it's just, not as toned as I would like it to be. And a lot of stuff is not flattering that way, but this really is. I really don't feel self-conscious at all in this. Like I really, really like it. And it hits right about here on me. I'm five foot four again, hourglass body type. So I love this bra, my number one favorite bra by Buff Bunny thus far. Next we have, I feel like I keep bringing out like the cheerleading stuff. Um, next we have the legacy legging. This is a high-waisted legging. This, again, is in the new gray fabric as well. This is a medium support. It has no front seam. If you're a girl watching this, if you know, you know. And also, I have a little pooch here. And I don't know if y'all can tell. I'll turn this way so you can kind of see better. I have a little pooch here, and this is so camouflaging of this. I find so many leggings define that right there when there isn't a front seam because it's just like, hey, what's up? Um, so love, love, love that. And then the band starts here, the compressive band. So it's a little bit on the top of your hips to your waist. So right about here, this thick, literally love it. And then the back, we've got the beautiful butterfly detailing, really, really pretty. The buff bunny logos looks excellent. This is very supportive of the cheeks. I've worn this weightlifting. I've worn this walking around the house into Pilates and it works so well. Really love it. But the butterfly detailing is so 
flattering for the glute definition, like your booty's gonna look good, okay? <laughs> and then this has a normal inseam, I think it's 26 inches, which on me, I'm a short girl, 5'4", so it definitely goes all the way down. Um, but it's fine, I don't feel like it's like bunched up at the bottom or anything. I will say when I move a little bit, for my body type and shape, and also I have a short torso, this does roll down a tiny bit, but literally it's just, because if you can't tell, it's very high-waisted, and so it goes above where my waist naturally comes in. So the only thing it does when I like bend around and move, it just rolls down to where my natural waistline is, and I don't mind it at all. I think it still looks really good, really flattering. I like it. Soft, like, buttery it has a side seam it's very buttery but it's compressive it's not too buttery that it's like this isn't workout material but it's not like the most sweat wicking workout material ever but i'm sweating it it looks fine i love these i feel so confident pretty sexy i feel like these pieces were made for me not like i'm squeezing in to workout gear that just was not made for someone my shape or in my body age, body era, whatever we're calling this. Um, I have no kids or anything, but I have gone through a whole bunch of weight loss. So I have a Husky in case y'all don't know who I am. And so the dog hair is just inevitable, but I'll try to let it roll. So next we have the legacy shorts. I will try these on, but I want to show you up close. These are the legacy shorts. They have them in four inches and six inches. They're the same exact detailing, same fabric, same compression, everything just in a short. So here's the four inches. They are pretty dang short, but also like walkable in. And then we have the six inches, literally same thing, no front seam, Nubre fabric, butterfly detailing that makes the glutes look good, but they're just six inches, so they're a little longer. So I will try these both on and let y'all know my opinion on them and how they look on my body type, my thighs, my extra little jiggle, and my curvy thighs, okay, and the booty, okay? Next up we have the legacy leggings these are the four inch and i'll come closer and show you in detail but we also have the monarch top so this is a sports bra it is the same fabric so it's the new Bray medium support but again i feel extremely supported in this always got to do the jump test um but it's got that really supportive thick band just like the revolution did the same thing with the underarms i have no rubbing here I will say they like touch a little bit here, but that's just the style of how wide this is. But I have no rubbing underneath here. Um, and it holds it in pretty well. I don't feel again like my underarms are like bulging out or anything. Um, so Monarch Sports Bra, it does have the V-neck, the really nice detailing, it comes with removable cups. I hate cups personally, so I'm gonna take them out, but this is one of the items I asked them to send me so I could do a full YouTube for y'all on all the pieces. Um, so I kept them in for the sake of you, but I will be removing those. But right now the cups are in. Um, I feel very, very supported. I feel held in. It hits where it needs to. And the back is really, really beautiful. I think it's flattering. Again, I told y'all my trouble area was right here where I'm a little self-conscious of, which is just a personal thing. Um, and I feel very groovy in this. I feel like I can do all the things and it is doing what it needs to do. Um, the shorts, these are the, I'm standing on my tippy toes, so you can see, these again are the Legacy and the 4-inch. A lot of their shorts are in the 4-inch. I love them. I think they're flattering on my body. However, I wouldn't suggest personally for me or my body type or how my thighs are to go on like a three or four mile walk in these. I did it once the other day. I'm a big walker. I love, love, love walking, especially when the sun is out. And I tend like, I did feel like they were riding up just a little bit and my thighs were rubbing together. So I did pull them down a few times. Um, and just for somebody, like maybe a mile walk, maybe two, running errands around the house, doing a leg day, doing an arm day, like that's fine. I just really like to walk, okay? So the four inch were not ideal for that, but that's a personal preference. Other than that, I still love these shorts. I'm gonna wear them all the time. Um, and I think they look good. I think they've hit really good height. Again, no front seam. And then we've got the butterfly detailing again. It hits high waisted and then you've got enough room under the booty cheek also they don't make me feel like i'm a busted can of biscuits right here like i feel really good in the thigh area um and then if you don't i always just kind of i always kind of just stretch stuff out anyways 
Um, that's how I am with my biker shorts or any tight short on me just because the way my thighs are. But I think these look really good, really flattering. I like everything about this outfit. Definitely love this bra. So, so nice. Probably my second favorite sports bra. I wear a size large in almost all tops and then leggings I wear a medium, but all biker shorts I wear large. Just cause I'm that way, I like to size up in biker shorts for any brand, anything. I just like big shorts cause I feel like I need the little extra thigh forgiveness. Okay, next up we have the candy wrap sports bra. This is my number one seller. The one I get the most comments, questions, oohs and ahs about. This is the attention grabber. This is the most unique item I think that they have made that I've been aware of so far. I think it is so feminine. I think it's sexy. I think this way goes beyond athletic wear. Like this is an all encompassing feminine, feminine sports bra. I have it in this candy pop pink, which was the last collection, which was the cake collection. So, so pretty. I'll show you up close in detail how the fabric looks. Again, this is the Nubre fabric. Has a crisscross removable cup pads. Has gold hardware, which is gorgeous. Um, and then you have the crisscross in the back. And then I'll show y'all on me, but you have that layering as well in the back. So, so, so pretty. So I own this in two colors. This was like sold so fast. Um, but again, this is a large, this is the white on me. And then we have the same, the legacy legging, but this is the six inch now instead of the four inch. Um, it's a lot longer in my opinion than the four, still just as flattering, just as pretty. I like it just as much. Personally for six inches, I think I'm a five inch girly, okay? I think that's about the conclusion I've come to. But what I do is I just kinda, I don't know what y'all call this, I call it jush. I just jush them up a little bit and then put the extra fabric right here in like my crease, my V, whatever you wanna call it. And that's how I prefer to wear this legging. So it's still a six inch, but I like it to hit just right here on my thigh. Um, and then the same way for the back, the booty looks good as always. The butterfly detailing looks gorgeous. And then here's an up close of the um, candy wrap sports bra and how it looks in the back. I have these adjusted pretty high. New Bray of fat, the new Bray fabric, it's medium support, but honestly, jump test, I'm feeling pretty dang good, um, especially because I have this hiked up a lot. And then again, the underarms, I don't feel like are like doing too much. I will say I feel like it cuts a little bit right here, but I could fix that by pulling it down. But then I told y'all I'm self-conscious, so I'd rather it be pulled up a little bit. So this is personally the length, the height and stuff that I would wear it. I feel very confident in this from the front. I'm a little self-conscious in the back. Just like I said, it's a personal thing, but I still wear this one. I still love it. I still think it's an amazing piece and it is so feminine, sexy. Like this is ultimate, but yeah, so, so pretty. I think this is really fun, really flirty. If you have an activity for a date, this is what I would wear. Like this with like shorts or leggings. There is something feminine and beautiful about that. All right, next up we have baked blue. I literally love baked blue. This color is like the best. It's not a navy, it's not a light blue. This is just like a true beautiful blue. I think it looks really good with a tan complexion, dark tan, of course. You know what, it would look really good on a blonde, okay? So, but anyways, I just really like this personally on me. Um, so while the shorts were fresh in your mind, I wanted to show you the shorts before I put on the corset leggings that match this top. But these are the siren shorts, so they've got that cross um v kind of like waistline this is so dang flattering like i have a fairly small waist i know i have really big hips but this just makes it look even more snatched like it just elongates and pulls your waist in makes that illusion even if you don't have it that you are looking like a snatched queen okay um and then no front seam of course i love it i'll show a close up of the waist so y'all can see and then the back is going to have just a deep V butterfly detailing as well. Um, but love, love, love this. This is a four inch. So this is the same length as like the legacy legging, the first legacy legging short or legacy short that I showed y'all. Um, but I love it. I feel very comfortable in it. I can move. These are not rolling up. Even though I told y'all, I don't like, I'm not obsessed with this length for walking, but squatting, kicking, doing Pilates, we're gonna lunge down. Like you can do basically anything in these. They did not roll up once. 
and then they just settle again in my waistline like most things do. But I love, love, love these shorts. I'm gonna buy more of these for sure. It does have this under bust lining right here. I hope y'all can see that. Um, and then the corset lining, this is not boning, but it's just extra embroidery. This is double lined like all their fabrics. Hit swell on my underarm. Very, very nice. I will say I'm in a large in this and I am not busting out, but like I gotta be careful of some nipple action kind of. Um, if I pulled this bust under where it should be, the girls would be definitely at a flight risk. Um, but other than that, I love it. I still wouldn't have sized up to an extra large because I like that support. This is the butter material. So it's gonna be nylon and spandex, I believe. Um, but it is just a lighter complexion, lighter fit. This is more of a, like you can definitely work out in this, I'm lifting and Pilates in this already, but it's more of like, I think made for your everyday, kind of like looking pretty, wearing the cute athleisure set, airport outfit, like stuff like that. Like it's definitely gorgeous, I love it. Made for the everyday. It also has the racer back um, and then the corset detailing as well on the back. But this is the color baked blue, so you can mix and match with all the baked blues. I also just wanted to clarify that the siren shorts, I'm gonna show you a close up while I'm talking. The siren shorts, the ones I just had on, these are the new braid material. So same as the Legacy, Revolution, Monarch, all that stuff. So it's the um, medium compression and the new braid material. But the corset stuff is the butter material, the light compression. We have the corset leggings. I will show detail on these. You can see my belly button. I feel like just a tiny bit, but again, I have loose skin and my belly button's like super wide. It's not like a little button belly button or anything, but it has this beautiful webbing corset detail. I'm trying to show y'all, I'm like thrust forward. Um, really, really pretty. It lines up exactly with this. No front seam again. And then you've got the beautiful back Beautiful back, which has the corset detailing again in this. This does not have the butterfly seam, but it has this really deep V seam that is very, very flattering for the glutes. Like, it's looking nice, okay? And then you've got the corset detailing right here. And again, the Buff Bunny logo. And I think the Buff Bunny logo on this one is like this really pretty, like actual little thing they sewed so it in. It's really pretty. I will say this one, I feel like is not as like, it's the seam, whatever this edge seam is right here, it's not as like flattering, but I still feel very confident and sexy in this. Like out of the cake collection, I felt the most pretty and like I liked how I looked on camera and stuff in this and in the mirror. But just when you're like analyzing it, like actual working out wise and stuff, it does stay up. Like it didn't roll down. This is gonna stay up. It's just not as high waisted and like seamless of a seam like the other ones are. Does that make sense? Like it's kind of, it's not gonna go extra up and be like smoothing and very like, it is smoothing. This one also doesn't have a side seam. Also, I forgot to show y'all, but these are the black corset leggings. So this, these are the seams up close. So y'all can see. Okay, next up is the BBL collection. I think this collection was brand new to the cake collection launch that just happened. Um, and I am obsessed with it. So first we've got the bra and this is going to be a uh, medium to high compression. It really is. I am very held in there. Like you can obviously see, um, it has removable cups, which I have the cups in right now. Um, for me, I'm about a 38 D to double D and I'm in a large as always. And I felt very supported, very held in, but wait, wait for this. Okay. It is reversible. That's really cool that you can get two different styles out of one bra. Um, and let me just say, when I hear seamless as a curvier and somebody that has had weight loss, so I feel like stuff needs to be held in and held up, seamless does not sound attractive to me. I am like, that's a no for me, dog. Cause to me, it usually means no compression, no support, just like let it hang. At least like that's my connotation in my head. Um, but I don't feel that way with this, especially the bra. Like there is, there is nothing crazy about it. Um, but these are the BBL shorts. These are a four inch. These are medium compression. So medium to high, medium. They have the most compressive band from here to here, which I freaking love. Um, no front seam, so we're super smooth right there. And then of course, I'm not like biscuit can busting over the um, leggings. I haven't stretched the seam at all, but 
this is exactly what they look like. Of course, you can hike them up if that's your thing too, whatever you want to do. Um, but I feel really good in these. And then they also added a detail, which personally, I would not wear mine like this, but I think this is really cool if you want to wear it like that, or you have a super short torso, or you really like your belly. Like, I just thought that was really like cool of them. But yeah, otherwise it has this really thick ribbed, compressive band that I really like. And then you go into this seamless, stretchier material. And then here is the back. It does have a glute contour, which is meant to go under the cheek to emphasize. Personally, for me, I just don't like a short this short because I feel like this right here for me, but that's a personal preference, but I love these shorts. Honestly, I'd wear them, whatever. I'm kind of at the point in my life also where I don't care what my body looks like from behind. I'm just like, hey, just here to work out. Hey, here just to look cute. Like, let me do my thing. But yeah, natural body, what it looks like in natural light. I feel so, so held in right here. I feel really, really good. So yeah, BBL, BBL. All right, first and foremost, this is this sports bra turned backwards. Absolutely phenomenal. Does the girls a million different favors. Looks so, so good. Like, I feel hot in this one. I like it. The underarm area is perfect. But what I forgot to show y'all, well, I didn't even know until I took it off, is it has the, I don't know if y'all can see that, the buff bunny riding on it too on this side. But this is how it looks in the back. I left the cups in because honestly, didn't want to take the boobies out. But this is what it looks like from behind. Be real. Let's be real. So these are the BBL leggings. Same concept. I do feel like you can see my stomach, my uh, belly button and these and you cut in the shorts. So don't really know about that. But again, very compressive. Same waistband. They're just the leggings form. Um, I will say there's a lot of bunching going on right here, which I naturally pull them to do that. But I will say like I'm getting a little in a little crease action going on. And I didn't in the shorts as much, but the leggings I am. So I don't really know. I don't know that I feel like thousand percent confident in these. I don't know that I'd go and buy more pairs of these. I will wear them. I like them. Again, they have the glute lines, which you gotta really hike them up in the legging. And it's very definite. Like it makes you look like you got a donker, even if you don't. But yeah, really pretty. This goes up really high, has the beautiful arch, the logo, all the things. Love, love, love this horse bra, love the shorts. The leggings are like a eh for me. All right, next up we have the Crystal Crop V2. I'm getting the vibe that there was a V1 at some point, so I just wanna make that clear, whatever that means, this is V2. Um, this is a sports bra with a built-in shelf bra, and then it's got the crop material over it, but they're connected. So this is gonna be a longer piece if you're not comfortable you don't like or you don't feel your most confident in the thicker banded sports bras, then you can try this alternative. This is the same Nubre fabric. It's got the seam detailing, round neckline seam detailing. And then it just hits right about where my waist is right here. Um, and then it's got just this round back with the seams again. And then the beautiful little metal logo. I really like the metal logos that they're doing. Double lined, looks really good. I feel very supported. It's probably like a medium. I feel very supported. I fit well in the shelf bra. A lot of shelf bras I spill out of underneath. Like usually it goes up to like here and my under boobs hang out. But this is very supportive of my chest size. So really, really like this one. Like how it fits, like where it hits. Next, we have the laser cut legging. I think it's lit laser cut. These came out in the cake collection as well. These are different fabrics. You've got the butter, you've got the new brand. Elysium, Elysium, I'm not really sure. But this is the highest support, highest sweat wicking, quick drying material. This is like what you typically think of like high impact, high compression, like sport running material, almost like swish material, but not. Does that make sense? Um, I'll get up close so y'all can see, but it's kind of, it's not, this is like the Nubre, the buttery. See how it's kind of buttery, it's soft. And then these are like, like this is definitely a more compressive, more sweat wicking um fabric so these have a little laser cut detail like the um name insinuates goes all the way down until my ankle i'll try to show more and then it does this really pretty y'all i'm so dang short it does this really pretty v detail where it goes down the leg that way and then it comes up to the bum this way um, no front seam as always it's got a thick 
compressive band right here hits basically on my waist. Um, not as high cut as like the Legacy or anything. So it doesn't really roll down because it hits where my natural waist is personally. Makes the booty look phenomenal. Like this is held in. We've got this beautiful V similar to the corset leggings instead of the butterfly. The laser cut is see-through so you have these tiny holes but it's nothing to be like uncomfortable about and if you want to wear a thong or underwear you can. Um, and then again it has this really pretty V that goes down and meets. This holds the tummy in. Like I am not sucking in and I feel very flat and like held in right here. I feel like I can do jumping jacks and ain't nothing gonna be showing. And then I feel pretty supported right here. I will say the material bunched up a little bit, but I also think it's my body type. At my ankles bunched a little bit, but I don't mind that. Um, but yeah, these are cute, lit laser. Okay, next up I think this is the day's dress from the Courtsides collection. Yeah, day's dress. This is breathable and sweat wicking. So this material is definitely similar to that lit laser cut, the swishy um, sweat wicking quick drying material. Very, very nice, very smoothing. It's got the built-in cups that you can remove and it's got a round neckline. This is like a tennis dress or athleisure dress. I am really into these this year. I think they're very sophisticated. I feel like they're very, um, I don't know, just like preppy. I don't know, I think they're really classic. You can pair them with a tenny, you can pair them with cute snake sandals. I really think they're very versatile, really pretty. We've got this beautiful cross back and then it's got like the straight across right here. Beautiful buff bunny metal piece as well. Um, and then it has built-in shorts underneath. So this is like a romper. So you step into it. This is a romper and it attaches all the way up here. And then this just drapes over and smooths. I did get in a large in this and I wish I would have got a medium. I could use a little more support and tightness. And then I would like it to be just a tad bit shorter and a tad bit like more hip hugging. I feel like this is a little more like, I don't know. I'd like it just to be like, this a little bit so love it love the material love fit but i want to shrink it i feel like i am so comfortable in this this honestly is more comfortable than a t-shirt and sleep shorts for me this is like i can do anything i don't have to worry about my legs hanging out but i don't have to worry about pulling my leggings up it is just like i am foot loose and fancy free and i think these have a pocket this was the courtside collection so it actually has a pocket made for a tennis ball if that's your Mojo, I was never blessed enough to be that athletic, but I think this is so flattering, so pretty, so versatile. I think everybody definitely needs like a tennis dress, athletic dress in their wardrobe. All right, next up we have the Transcend Sports Bra and the Loch Ness Leggings. This is the perfect matching set. This is the first full set I ever put on by Buff Bunny and fell in love. I just feel so flattering so trendy, so confident. I feel like I am an athletic girly. Like, I feel like this was made for me. I was the one that this was made for. Like, I feel like I was the model in the pictures. Um, I feel like this body type, my body type is who they had in mind when they designed it. Love, love, love. I love, I'm coming up close. I love the seam detailing. It's got like these outside seams that are really pretty. I leave the cups in with this one for some reason. Not sure why, but I love it. And then you've got this under bust and then this one too. The thick supportive band starts here. Really, really pretty. Scoop neck, but it's also kind of got like a slight V to it. Do you see that? And I think that's really flattering. Hits exactly at where the waistline is. Look at the back though, guys. Look how pretty unique that is. And brown is so in right now. That looks dang good. So it's got the V, you've got the Buff Bunny logos matching and this seam makes your booty look so good. It makes it look curvy from the back, the way this kind of like glides. And same from the front, your quads and your waistline is really accentuated by this curvature right here. You can't see, but it curves the opposite way. Um, the lower it gets, you can kind of see where my knees are. It goes whoop. They are a little long, but I love it. No front seam, supportive thick band as always. The set is on sale right now, like major sale. I feel like, um, those dancers, like when they do big performances and like pop and rap sometimes, and they have like the skeleton dancers with the outline, I'm just like, that's how I feel. Love, love, love it. Super flattering. Here's it from the side. I don't think it showed that. So very, very flattering. I feel super confident, trendy. I feel like 10 out of 10. I freaking love this one. I love it so much. All right, next up we have the confidential sports bra and confidential leggings. 
sorry, something's like twisted under there. Um, this is the Print Rapids, but of course they have different colors and prints. I really, really like this. Um, this is more of a seamless feel to me. Um, it is definitely a medium compression, um, but up close, this is a deep v-neck and it's very, very flattering. I took the pads out. That's what I'm feeling, that extra fabric for the pads. But I took the pads out. It is a high neckline. Um, it's got the thick supportive band. I have enough room for my underarms. Thick, supportive. I feel very, very supportive. Um, and then the back is this pretty razor back, but it's kind of skinny and I like it. A lot of razor backs are like kind of thick, but I like how skinny it is. Um, and then the logo's at the top for this one. This one's on sale as well. And then same thing for the leggings, super compressive band, a little stretchier material below the band. They are a little long, but that's okay. No front seam. I think we're feeling good, looking good in that area. And then you got the booty. This has the typical V um, lining, whatever, but not the butterflies, what I was trying to say. But this goes up really, really high. This goes up high as like the legacy one. So I really, really like that. But booty looking good. The set's looking good. It's like cute little gym fit. You'd feel very confident in this one. So this is the one from the Recycled Materials. Um, and it'll let you know when you order them, but it's Reprieve, made earth friendly, made from high quality recycled material, protects our lands and oceans. I love it. I think that's so freaking cool. It is a sports bra, I will say. I feel like to me, this is light compression. Um, it does have the built-in cups, which I still have. I love this bra, but I don't think I would be hitting, like doing a hit workout or running in this. I could, I don't even know if I want to do Pilates. I could do a lower body day or an upper body day weightlifting in this though. Um, I do feel like it gapes a little bit here, but I think that's from my breast augmentation and just my boobs fitting a little bit different than a natural boob would. Or maybe I just need to size down in this one for a little extra like hold, you get what I'm saying? But it has, again, the supportive thick band, just not as supportive on me, um, but it is a seamless thing. And like I said, seamless is not always my mojo. I did love the BBL seamless. I think this is so pretty. I think it's very pretty. I would wear this more like errands around the house to do like upper body or lower body. The side is deep and it's a pretty telling V and then you've got the pretty thing here. And then the back is super open. This is very similar to the first bra I showed y'all that was like, I love this bra. The back, it was always my favorite detail. Love, love, love it. It's so, so pretty and just unique. Um, and I just paired it with the Legacy 4 inch to show y'all kind of maybe something you could do. Um, and of course they have leggings and stuff that you can pair it with, but this is how I would pair it. I love like the gray with the black. I think it's really pretty. And same thing, but we have the tank. So this is a long full length tank. It's got this really pretty like little uh, embroidery right here on the sides that makes you look very snatched. Round neck, same detailing on the back. Beautiful, I'll put it on over this to show you. I'm not a long tank girly just because I am so short and I like to show my belly. Now that for years I went without showing my belly, so I feel like now I just want to. But this is something casual you can wear around like parents if you don't want to show your belly or just something simple. But this is just your, I actually really like this. Okay, I like this a lot more I thought I did because you can kind of just scrunch it. Okay, I actually love this. I really like this. Oh my gosh, so this is the same recycled material. I mean, you can pair it with obviously whatever sports bra. It does not have a built-in sports bra, but it's got this detailing. If you want to wear it long, this is how it looks. And if you that's not really your mojo, you can kind of go like this, bunch it up, whatever, which I would actually love to wear it like this. I think this is so flattering, especially the way it curves down. Um, and then the back is just typical Razorback. I totally forgot to say, show you all the bags they sent me. So we do have this type of belt bag, this fanny pack that's really in right now. Dang, my crossbodies get so annoying sometimes. Look how cute this is. I love the height of it and I love the shape of it. I have belt bags before, but they're flat. I love how this is, um, this is nice. I like the gold hardware too. It makes it a lot nicer. Um, I love this outfit together. If I walk this afternoon, I will love this. So nice. It's adjustable slings on your back just like that beautiful gold hardware love 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 this okay if you don't already have one of the belt bags or you want wait i like it as a fanny bag hold on i've never actually worn a belt bag as a fanny pack but i actually really like this as a fanny pack oh my god this is cute what the heck i feel like you gotta put stuff in i put my lip gloss my airpods my apartment key 
I like this. I think this is so dang cute. Super cute. I think this is the game changer backpack. They insisted. They were like, this is a bestseller. You will die once you try this. And I was like, okay. It has a lunchbox like storage compartment. This is great for travels, airplanes, whatever. And um, even work, the office, if you go to college. Like, it has this big compartment. Look how nice that is. Nothing's roomy, too, for your meal preps, whatever. Again, the beautiful hardware. But let me just show y'all. This is silver hardware, too. Big opening flap, and then you can literally put anything. You can put um, a foam roller in here. You could put a little barbell pad. You can put extra clothes. And then it has, like, the little mesh. You can do, um, like, deodorant, makeup wipes, toner for your face so you don't break out. It's got little side pockets you can put your um little water bottle in there whatever let's see whoa this is throwing me back okay so this is what it looks like from the front i love it and then from the back obviously stuff it put your things in it i love this this is so dang cute hits right above the booty you've got the logo going on we going somewhere who's gonna book a flight let's go if you made it there here this far i genuinely appreciate you i want to get back into the YouTube mojo, so I'm excited for that. But again, my name is Brittany, um, and I'd love for you to follow along. I post pep talks all the time on my stories. I post motivation stuff. I post high protein, easy meals, snack ideas, stuff like that. But I truly, if you get anything from this, even if you don't buy anything from this, like I genuinely want you to feel your most confident, your most sexy, your most pretty, your most feminine. I want you to feel like something was made for you. You fit in. I want you to feel like you are supposed to be where you're supposed to be at. And I don't care how, how high your highs have been, your lows, have, how low they've been. I've been very, very low before. And like, I just want you to feel good. At the end of the day, like, I just really hope you feel good and you're doing things to make yourself feel happy and healthy and honoring things that just make you feel good. Go for a walk, get some vitamin D, get some sunshine, take a breather. Don't work yourself to death. I mean, and give yourself some grace, like stop beating yourself up if that's what you're doing, whether it's weight, working out, your job, you know, your productivity, whatever it is. I beat myself up about productivity all the time because I'm just like, but um, anyways, thank you. Love you so much. I will put my discount code. Anything you shop through my links or use my discount code supports me. If you're seeing this on Earth Day, I think today, Saturday and Sunday, you will get a discount if you enter Earth Day in the discount code but I would love if you shop through my links. My links are in my Instagram and TikTok. But if you found that through me, I would love for you to support me that way. I am so, so truly thankful for this opportunity for Buff Bunny for providing the clothing to do this try on for Buff Bunny, making me feel very included in an active wear space where I've never felt that included before. Um, and for making me feel confident and like I am allowed to show up and I am a fitness girly and I am active work girly and I am a like a model girly, you know what I mean? Like I just feel really dang good, y'all. I feel really dang good. So anyways, I hope y'all have a beautiful, wonderful day. You're doing amazing. Keep it up. I'm cheering you on. Please follow me on all socials because I wanna be your friend. I want you to see that one story that just like impacts your life. I wanna see, I want you to see that one transformation picture. I want you to see that one confidence thing I shared um, to really help change your life. So I love y'all. Thank you so much, truly again. It has been an honor to make this video for you. Um, thank you to Buff Bunny and thank you for watching, especially if you made it this dang far because no telling how long this video is. But I love y'all so much. Have a great day. Bye. But for real, follow me on IG and TikTok and let's be friends. Okay, love you.